Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to cover how to create a commercial look in DaVinci Resolve and go from this to this. In case this is your first time here, I'm Fred Trevino. I've been a professional colorist for 15 years for Beambox Studio, and I've created about 60 feature length films and hundreds of short form projects for companies like Versace, ESPN, Under Armour, just to name a few. Also, my channel focuses on the creative side of color grading. There's tons of great channels out there that focus on the technical stuff like monitors and color spaces, color space transforms, things like that. But here I like to focus DaVinci Resolve on pushing your story forward and making things a little bit stronger on that end. In this video, I'm going to focus on creating a commercial look. I have a lot of stuff on creating a cinematic look, but it's always great because to be honest with you, that's what typically pays the bills is working on commercial stuff. And it's something that's very helpful to have in your arsenal, how to look at the footage, how to go about it step by step. So let's jump right in. This intro intentionally left blank. Okay, so here we are, and here is the clip that I'm going to gray today. Um, and by the end, we will make it look like this again. So let me walk you through step by step my thought process on you know what I was looking at and how I got a look to go from this to this. Okay, okay. And before we get started, I just want to thank you know Black Pixel Productions. Uh, for letting me use this shot. Very talented company. So if you are in the New York City area, definitely check them out. Also check out the link to their website below in the descriptions. Okay, and just a little bit about this clip. As you can see in the description down here, it was shot on the Sony FX3 in S-Log. So this is the base image. And the first thing I did is really just the base grade, which was a very subtle adjustment of going from here to here and it really the point of this was just to give it a little bit of pop a little bit of contrast so again it was just before after and this was just a really simple adjustment honestly of just a little bit of contrast a little bit of pivot and then in the HDR tools here I just boosted the overall exposure a little bit and you know very subtle thing but this is a good place to get started the next thing I adjusted was the color temperature and I simply gave it a little boost there before, after, just to warm it up a little bit. And again, a very simple adjustment in the color wheels and I just boosted the color temperature a little bit. And then what I wanted to do is, with this being kind of a commercial fashion beauty video, I really wanted to bring out her outfit. So what I did is I keyed her outfit here to make it pop before, after, before, after. And if you see the key that I did, I basically selected anything that's in the greens because I really wanted to almost create a sort of, you know, semi teal and orange look, um, you know, contrasting her skin tones with her outfit in the green in the background. So again, this was just a quick before, after. And I did that by keying all the greens, especially her outfit. And then, you know, whereas before in the previous node here, I boosted the warmth, I wanted to cool all that other stuff down to create some color contrast. So you can see very simple steps that kind of go a long way. This is one of those adjustments that really, you know, the others were pretty subtle, but this one is where you can start seeing a look develop before, after. And then from here, the next step, you know, I stayed with the outfit and I just did a very simple outfit saturation. And that's it. Before, after, before, after, like that. And that's it. And it was, again, just a very simple boost here in the curves. Here, if I go to hue versus saturation, you can see I selected that color, which was already vibrant from the previous node and I just brought that up. Again, I did a kind of more commercial saturation, not a film-like saturation, something like subtractive or the typical HDR tools or something that's a little bit more um, organic because in a lot of commercial shoots and a lot of commercial stuff, they really just want that very vibrant kind of saturated look. But just with my own taste as a colorist, I also didn't want it to look too electric, so I just gave it a little bit of boost here in the curves. And again, you can see 
the difference was before, after, before, after, and we're kind of moving along, making a look, and then I wanted to grab the face on this one. And again, with it being a fashion beauty video, this is the before. You can see that you can see a little bit of detail here, you know, kind of like skin imperfections. And I just very subtly adjusted the mid-tone detail. I keyed her skin tones, adjusted mid-tone detail to take it from before after just to soften everything here in, on her face and also honestly a lot of the other browns to kind of take away that super sharp crisp video look uh, because sony cameras tend to be super sharp but i wanted to kind of soften things a little bit in particular her face before after and again that was just as simple as king her skin tones and anything that's kind of in a skin tone color palette, boosting just a tiny bit of color temperature in her skin, but then also going here to the mid-tone detail and softening that a little bit. And that's what gives us, you know, going from here to here. And you can see it's gone a long way. You know, we start off here and just going from this to this to this, to this, her face. And after all of that, you know, I was pretty happy with it. And this is the face where I kind of start experimenting a little bit. So I decided to, you know, see what else I could add. So I went into the um, OFX plugins, added this OFX plugin here, um, which is called Aperture Diffraction, to just kind of give things, again, staying with the theme of this, you know, of beauty and fashion and softening things up, making things look more on the prettier side. And the aperture diffraction just kind of takes highlights, you know, and blooms them a little bit and adds a little bit of warmth to those highlights as well. And that gives us before, after, before, after. And this is one of those things that really you can only see while it's playing back. You go into full screen. You can see it kind of in action here what that kind of does to it. And if I turn it off, here's with it off. And here's with it on. Just gives it a little bit nice, misty, prettier look. And yeah, this was a very basic one. This is one of those lucky things where I dropped it on there, it looked good, and then I just made an adjustment to the aperture size just to kind of spread out the highlights and make them look as soft as possible. And so that was the aperture diffraction. And then here it's just kind of polishing things up, a vignette. And I specifically added it, you know, only outside of her like this. So that one's a pretty simple one. So, and then the last thing I did was just more of a stylistic choice. And that is adding this Dehancer plugin here where I turned off everything about this plugin except this overscan look. Um, and it's really just a thing where it's just kind of a creative choice. I wanted to see how it looked. And what's cool about this is that you can adjust how the sprockets look, the softness of everything. And that's just kind of what I did. So if you go down here to overscan, I picked the gate type and I picked 16 millimeter 1.66. You can see there's all kinds of options, you know, different sizes. And to me, that one fit. And then also, you know, adjusting the exposure of the sprockets. You know, you can remove them, make them very bright, something like that. And that's kind of a place that I thought looked nice. And then also the focus on the gate, which, you know, you can keep it very crisp and sharp. But I just kind of went with a softer look, which is kind of an overall theme for a lot of these beauty commercial videos. And that was it with the overscan. And I just kind of thought it added something nice to this shot. You know, some people may like this, some people may not, but that's just kind of what you usually do as a colorist is you try things, you walk away, you come back, you see like, okay, what do I like better? And what does the client like better? Do I like this look or do I like that look, you know? So, you know, again, it's all about creativity, which is what I like this channel to be about, trying new things, experimenting. You know, this is this overscan might be a thing where you might add in, 
you know, for a split second on a shot just to kind of keep the audience's attention. But some people might also prefer just this kind of original look of the clip. Okay, so that's it. Here's the final grade. Again, big difference going from the this here to here. Again, before, after. Okay, that's it. I hope you learned something. Any questions, comment below, like, subscribe. Once again, thanks to Black Pixel for letting me use the footage, and I'll see y'all later.